Hi, y'all. Happy New Year. I am working with the 10 inch by 10 inch canvas tonight, and I went ahead and drew the lines down on my baking paper. And I'm just going through the colors with you guys real quick. So I don't have to do that in the middle of art. This is a mixed up color. And I actually had a little bit of trouble with this pour, and I'm, you're going to see that in the middle of the, the video. But hey, I worked around it and went ahead and still ended up having two paintings out of this. And after I was done, I went ahead and dipped four coasters as well because I had so much paint laying there. I wanted to make sure I used some of it as much as possible before it got muddy. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and say... I put too much paint down you guys so if you try this be careful with not putting too much paint down because that I think was a big part of the reason that I had trouble with this this dip but it's okay because I went ahead and powered through and made it work anyway so and I'm happy with the results that I got actually so it's okay going in with that dioxazine purple I love this color by the way it's a Liquitex basics color and it dries very deep dark and I love this um, quinacridone violet as well it is beautiful they work well together put some of that copper down so in this one I'm going for one single abstract flower instead of three smaller ones. I'm just layering up some more of the purple. I like to do this in layers because it helps with getting effects. So I do not have any oil in my paint. And you know, you're gonna get effects no matter what with the Floetrol, but I find that layering your paints up like this helps with those effects actually. And I'm putting the white on there also because white always helps with effects, actually. Always. So now I'm going to put those leafy spots on. And you guys, I'm not trying to make this look like real leaves. I'm trying to make it look like fu fuzzy, like background leaves. This is abstract art. Just getting that said. <laughs> It does look like a flower with leaves though, so it's an abstract art win. <laughs> Just trying to straighten it out there. A little bit of gold. If you guys can't tell, um, my mother-in-law got me an Amazon gift card for Christmas and I went ahead and ordered myself a brand new tripod with that gift card and so now you have kind of a better view of my table so I had too much paint down so it didn't dip perfectly so I had to fix it a little bit there was some stringy paint if that makes any sense there was some strings of paint across it so I had to kind of fix that which I did, and I actually love it. It's beautiful. Look at that, you guys. So, I'm going to hit it with the torch real fast. Get those cells to get those bubbles to pop so I can get the lacing in cells. And this one, absolutely beautiful lacing on it. I love it. And I said, one sec because I decided to go and get another canvas and dip again so I'll put this one to the side out of the way I had a rack over there ready just in case and I went on ahead and dipped it <clears throat> And it didn't 
did well, you guys. I'm so sad. <laughs> I was, I really struggled with trying to save it. So I did go on ahead and fast forward this part so you don't have to see me just messing with it because it was actually quite a mess and then I made it even worse. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that, but look, it's okay. <laughs> And then I made it worse again. Look. It's so ugly. <laughs> so I decided, you know what? I want to have a second dip. I want to have another painting. So what I decided to do. See, I'm even torching it. Torching. Oh my goodness. Torching it to try to save it. But I decided to go on ahead and scrape it. And have another dip. Because I was not about to give up. So, I decided that the colors were a little bit muddy, and I didn't want some muddy colors, so I went ahead and put just a little bit more of the purple and pink down. I didn't worry about the greens, the leafy colors. A little bit more of the copper. Just a little. I didn't want to put too much paint down. bit more of the purple on top and just a little bit of white for effects and we dip again as you can see I don't really worry about taping up the back of my canvases because I actually have very good prices on my art when I get to a point where I'm increasing the process of my art, maybe I will consider taping the backs of my canvases, but until then, enjoy low prices. Low prices means maybe less work for me. <laughs> we'll worry about doing more work and having more perfect backs later, but I don't think the back is very important at all. Because I'm thinking you're probably going to have the back of the painting against the wall anyways. So, I'm pretty sure anyone that purchases my art is purchasing it for the front of the canvas, not for the back. Anyways, enough of that. <laughs> Torching. Take number three. And it's good. I'm pleased with it. There you go. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me some comments down below. Here's the flyover. And I wanted to tell you real fast before this ends, I had a goal of hitting 250 subscribers before the end of the year. And I hit 253 subscribers just in time for the New Year's. And I'm incredibly happy and blessed and thankful. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. You guys, all the love in the world. Here's the photo. I hope you have an incredible new year. Bye.